Hi there and welcome back to CNC Modeler. Uh, today we're looking at how I develop a GT2 timing pulley in Fusion 360. So here we go, we're going to uh, try and create this GT2 pulley. So first thing you do whenever you do a, uh, a new thing in um, Fusion is create components. component. So I'll call this GT2. Oh, I hate it when... Why doesn't Fusion just automatically go to naming the component. I'm going to go and save that as... Okay, so I've saved that already as a file. Um, so now we're going to... In here, we're going to insert a canvas. So I've got the spec. So select the face, select the file. And then... Okay, and under canvases, go to uh, calibrate. And there's one point, and there's the other point, and that's going to be two millimeters. So that's calibrated. So now that's whilst I'm not going to draw directly over the top of this, it is. Um, the roughly the right size so I can eyeball to make sure everything's looking good. Now I need to create some parameters to sort out all of these and basically put them all in the right places. So if we go to modify uh, so let's um, go through and just create some of these parameters in here there's the ones that we need. So uh, first off, we're going to generate a pulley. So we need to know the number of teeth. So num teeth is just a number. And let's uh, let's go for a twenty tooth pulley. Okay. Then we need to uh, have the tooth pitch. That's the distance between um, two teeth, so in this case, measure between the uh, roots, that's two millimeter. Two. Okay. So now we need to do a bit of interpretation. So this is for a timing belt, not for a pulley. So timing belt, the specification is basically, it's straight, a pulley, this would be curved. So if you imagine this line here, that's the line that represents the um, metal banding inside the belt. And that will always be two millimeters because that's where you know, the, the belt's not going to stretch much. Um, so, but when you wrap the belt around the pulley, this line becomes a circle. And when you wrap the belt around the pulley, because these lines remain perpendicular to that line, then they become radials. And so what we've got to do is translate this into a way that I can generate um, uh, diameters and radials. So basically, first off, if I know that the belt wraps around and the tooth pitch is two millimeters, then basically the diameter of the pulley, so if we go um, diameter, Pulley diameter is in millimeters is uh, I'll do that num teeth times tooth pitch. Oh. Okay, so and that's actually this diameter here. Um, and we also need to know, because I'm converting this from lengths to radials and angles, I need to convert two millimeters into an angle. So if we go tooth angle, and we're going to have that in degrees, and this is 360 divided by the number of teeth. Okay, 
So then uh, we need this here converted into an angle as well. So this is 2.4 ratio, so that's that 1.2 ratio. So basically this is a, a transition arc. So just quickly, the way this proof profile is set up is you've got an arc at the root, you've got an arc on the shoulder of the tooth, and you've got a transition arc between the two. Now actually when I come to draw it, because it's not straight, there's a transition between these as well, but I'll get to that in a minute. So um, I basically need to work out that distance there, or that angle as it will be there. So we'll add in here, we'll go uh, trans offset angle and uh, degrees, and that's. Uh, Tooth angle, tooth angle times point two. Okay. Now I just need these um, other parameters in, really. So we need the shoulder radius. is one and I need the tooth height we'll call that is point seven five. Okay, and the PLD, which is the uh, radial distance between the diameter of the belt of the pulley and the top of the tooth. So we'll add that in. So I think it's um, pitch line diameter but I'm not overly sure. So, uh, PLD uh, in millimeters, that's 0 0.254, 0 0.254. Okay. So we've got all those dimensions in now. So, yeah, okay. Now we can look at um, generating this uh, tooth profile. So we're going to create a sketch, put it in that plane. Now, so we're going to need some circles on here to start with. So I'm going to need a circle for to represent that line there. I am going to need a circle to dimension off of for that point there. Let's cut another one. Then I'm going to need a circle that effectively covers the top of these tips, but we'll cover that with an arc later. Uh, and now I'm going to draw this as a line. Uh, uh, symmetrically, so I'm going to create a line here that is symmetrical again as a construction to create that symmetry around. Oh, yeah, so it's constrained horizontal vertical, and I'm going to call that again a construction line. Uh, and 
then I'm going to need a radial line for uh, so if that if this mirror line is going through the center of the tooth I'm going to need a radial line for the bottom of the root so again put another one in And then I'm going to need another radial line to denote where that um, sits on, where that the the uh, center point of that arc sits on. So I'm going to do one more. Okay. So let's put some dimensions in. So that is this dimension here which is my circumference. So if I don't mention that. Pulley diameter. There we go. Pulley circumference. No, pulley diameter. Pulley diameter. So that's that. Go out now. Okay, obviously that's not right. That's the pulley circumference. So I need to go back and change that in the So circumference is pi d, so if I divide that by pi, no, I don't want to do that, yeah, that's much better, there we are, okay. Okay, and then we want to constrain this angle here, so if we do that. So I'm going to get the tooth angle and divided by two because I'm going to mirror it. And then we've got uh, this to here. And this is the offset. There we go. There we go. So it's got those. Now, this inner dimension, which is down here, is 0.75. Uh, plus 0.254, so if we go to mention that, it's the, uh, la 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 la, oh, actually, it's not, let's not do it that way, let's do it this way. That is the uh, PLD plus the tooth height. Plus tooth height. And there we go. So now we can start to see the proportions are broadly coming into line. going to need another circle this out to here 
and that is 0.75 up from there. So again, that's those two dimension, and that is. the tooth height. There we go. Okay, so those bring those up here just so we can see them. Okay, so now we need to start drawing some curves. So the first curve we need to draw is an arc on this line, which is that point there. Uh, that radius, so let's create arc, center point arc. So I want an arc that starts on that line, uh, centered on that line with that, and I want that to be, I want to dimension that as, uh, la la, root, root radius. Okay. And now I want to create another circle. That is another arc, sorry. That is centered here on that intersection to create the one millimeter arc. So I need to create a point to create that, to lock anchor the, um, center of that arc. So if I create a point on there, it's constrained, and then if I make that coincident, that locks that in. So now I want to create another arc, a center point arc from here, and to try not to get it to lock on anything, and just get it put in place. I dimension that arc, and that needs to be, um, Transition radius. Okay. So we need to bring that down, bring that down. So these never actually quite intersect. So they were going to have to do a bit of jiggery pokery in a minute to get that to work. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. Now we need to create, uh, if we go down here, we need to create this arc. So this arc is is um, tangential to the tooth tip and picks up the radius, but it's at radius 0.15. So the way we're going to do that is we are going to create an arc. Oh, so let's create a point. That's here. So remember, we're going to mirror this. So again, so we want to create an arc that starts from there. So if we make that coincident, so we're going to create an arc that comes across here. It's not constrained in terms of how far across it comes. It's only constrained by the intersection of the of the other things that come in in a minute. So I'm going to create another. Circle. It's again construction. And we're going to create a dimension between these two, which is RD. We're going to create that, and that's the uh, shoulder, I think, that I call it shoulder radius. There we go. So I'm now going to create an arc. It's got its center point on here. Uh, no, I'm not, not quite. First off, I'm going to create an arc. Arc, center point arc. That creates the top of the tooth profile from there to there. I'm then going to create an arc that has a 
has its center point here. It's where it is there. And like that. So now I need to join these things up. So I bring that across there. As you can see, as you bring that across, it changes how this arc behaves. So, but I want that arc. Now I've not dimensioned that arc, have I? That's why it's not behaving properly. Okay. So I want this arc and this arc to be tangential. So that now locks that in. I want this arc, oh, want this arc, this arc, this point to be coincident. But I also want this arc and this arc to be tangential. So there you go. So that locks that in. And it basically predefines that just by the way those arcs work. So if we now look at here, you can see that because of the way it's twisted, they get close, but they don't actually quite work. So what you have to do to get past that is you create an arc, uh, arc, uh, tangential arc, there from there to there. Okay, so that's already tangential. We create an arc on here. We can make that tangential. Now everything's basically sorted out. So that. Um, Basically, you've got a short section there, which is constrained by that dimension. So there you go. So there you can see that's the tooth profile basically developed now. Um, so I am going to mirror these lines. Select that, mirror that across, that's okay. And then I'm going to create an arc, a center point arc there, starting at there, finishing at there. And there you go. So if we just Get rid of the dimensions. If I could just finish the sketch. You can basically see the tooth profile is give or take the same as here, but because it's twisted, you can see how the the shoulders actually dip in, and that's so basically this shape here is the same as the tooth, and around here is where there's some flex in how it all fits. So, uh, yeah, so that's how to generate the tooth profile. So now if we want to go on and actually create a pulley based on this tooth profile. So we need some solid lines to um, create the pulley from. So we basically want to be able to create the core of the pulley. And we're going to be able to create an outer lip for the pulley as well. So basically, let's create the core first. So we need to create... Um, Create a new sketch on this plane. So then we're going to project through a couple of lines. There we go, those two lines. Okay. And so now we're going to, that's enough. So we're basically going to project up these two, so if we want a 7mm um, gully on the pulley to cater for a 6mm wide belt, so that's 3.5mm up, plus say a 2mm shoulder on the pulley, so let's project, uh, push that up by 5.5. Um, okay, and then we're going to do another one to cut away Away that to 
0.5. Okay, so there now you see is your thing. So now if we get rid of that body, we now go in and project the tooth profile. Project that up by 3.5. Okay, and we're now going to create a pattern, circular pattern, that body around that axis. We did it for number of teeth. Okay. And okay. So if we edit this. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to bring this back in and we're going to do select all of these and do a combine, join, okay, there you go, so there's your pulley, so now we're just going to do a mirror, so we're going to do, uh, where's mirror gone, create mirror, and we're going to go bodies, select the body, I'm going to select the mirror plane, which is that plane, okay, and there you go, that's your GT2 pulley. If you wanted to, obviously you could um, project this out of surface at a wider radius, um, but that's it really. So this uh, pulley does work as well. I've actually used it in one of my projects. So I'm building a large polar printer, which I needed a 720 tooth gear for. And the belt meshes really well across the whole circumference of that gear. So that gear is going to be mounted to an aluminium plate and it's going to be used to drive a large platter. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, you know, if you like the videos, then please give them those thumbs up. Thumbs up really help uh, YouTubers, helps other people find our stuff. And if you want to know more about my videos when they come out, hit that notification bell and you'll uh, find out when they're released. The other thing I have done is uh, I do have a Patreon account and I am very grateful to the uh, small amount of people that have donated or do donate on Patreon. And I do include an early access where if I've released videos early, you get to see them earlier through Patreon. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. If you do enjoy my stuff, please consider subscribing, looking at Patreon, and uh, perhaps look at my other videos. So thanks very much. Cheers.